Okay, love this story. One of my favorite of the day. Actually, my favorite of the day. A group of very smart Tampa high schoolers is creating an innovative way to study red tide in our waters, and it gets even better. The prestigious MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, just awarded these kids a whole lot of money to pursue their invention. I say they're on to something here. <laughs> ABC Action News reporter Sean Daly visits Tampa's Cambridge Christian School to check out a high-tech boat named Moses. When we're all done with Moses, Moses is going to be able to go out in the Gulf, autonomously collect data and sense red tide in the ocean, report back to us, and have it be able to be mapped on a graph. There are no people on Moses. No, no, no people. Oh, Just man. That is... These remarkable students at Tampa's Cambridge Christian School, mostly freshmen and sophomores led by STEM teacher Taisha Watson, just got a whole lot of love from MIT. They ended up selecting eight schools nationwide to receive a $10,000 grant so that we could build our invention. 10,000 bucks from MIT. Their invention, Moses, or Motorized Offshore Environmental Sensor. I'll let the smart people explain it. It's going to be a rover that we'll put in the Gulf. We've got some sensors that are going to help detect factors associated with red tide. With the help of my team, I designed this boat to push through the water instead of go on top of the water. Today, the running test on the GPS. Did it get my pass? Yes, it did. Yes. Yes. The project is all-encompassing, so beyond technical wizardry, the students are making holiday ornaments for fundraising. There's social media, research, carpentry. For teacher Taisha Watson, the beauty isn't just in the ingenuity. It's in the teamwork of students joining forces to make Tampa Bay a better place. It makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. Yeah, you're weepy. I like it. <laughs> At Cambridge Christian School, I'm Sean Daly, ABC Action News. Oh my gosh, they are incredible. Remember, these are high school kids, freshmen and sophomores doing this. We are definitely going to follow this, especially since MIT is going to visit Cambridge Christian School to check their progress in February. Cannot wait to see Moses when it's all put together and it's ready to roll. Uh, very cool technology. The sea drones now actually even being used by NOAA to monitor hurricanes in the Atlantic during the hurricane season. So they were kind of right at their leading edge yeah. there of what technolo where technology is going in the oceans. Uh, things like that could really make a big difference. Well, maybe future. some of these students will, you know, get picked up at some point by NOAA. Some and, good you know, paying jobs MIT, there. Exactly. Mm -hmm.